to the final episode of After the After Hours with your boy Trader Fred. The final day of this week it is, is tomorrow going to be a free fall Friday. Now I gotta get ready, get ready for tomorrow. If you guys are ready, hit, 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 that, hit that like and subscribe. Hit that, hit, that, hit that like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the love. Thank you guys for all the support. Yo, what is up, Chad? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to another episode of After the After Hours. I'm your host, Trader Pratt, and we're here to have fun with all things stock market, or should I say stonk market, with the, with the way it keeps moving every time the market does end up doing something. I mean, uh, originally, the market looked like it was going to do something, then it just didn't do anything. Awesome. Uh, but uh, hey, stocks did move around. NVIDIA with a monster moved to the downside. Um... Trying to remember what other stocks moved around today. DJT gave you, or was it DK, DXYZ gave you a good short today. Looking at my watch list to see uh, Tilray. Tilray gave you a good short, possibly opening up the downside now for these wheat stocks. I've been talking about this wheat sector being, you know, maybe not the most uh, interesting sector. We've seen how the legalization in Canada played out for the wheat sector. It didn't work out so hot for them. Then legalization in most states in America. Now German legalization. Legalization all of a sudden is so good that these stocks started blasting off to the upside. But Tilray's earnings report coming out and sadly hurting uh, their their whole rally at the moment. So we'll see if ACB goes back down. If CGC with their earnings report soon to come out gets slammed back to the downside, and uh, uh, the reality that weed is easy to grow these days uh, gets put out there in the in the limelight, and hence why these stocks are just not something that you might want to be holding for a long term play but for the day trades they've been giving amazing opportunities to the upside um so we're gonna keep looking for those same opportunities on the day trading but instead now we're looking for the downside moves reversal on acb so those weed sectors always on the watch list for us to see what happens uh and pretty much everything else that we always take a look at the cryptocurrency sector the uh semiconductor sector like i mentioned nvidia making a pretty big move to the downside today uh so that one puts on the watch list without a doubt the uh, Apple's AMD, sorry, I already said AMD, Apple's, Amazon's, Google's, Google with their three-day event that started today. Two more days for that event to go ahead with. Uh, so we're going to see how Google sets up going into that event. Tomorrow we have CPI coming out my leg. I should not have folded. Why do I keep making these silly mistakes? Every time I fold my leg, it kind of puts strain on my kneecap over there, which obviously was dislocated not too long ago. So a little bit of a mistake. But uh, coming back 
back to uh, the thought that I was on CPI tomorrow at 8 30 a.m. So we're waiting to see how CPI numbers come out and and if uh, that kind of gets the market moving along with CPI we have the FOMC minutes at two o'clock I, I think it should be coming out at two o'clock so that's going to be something that we have to keep an eye out for these past two days the market didn't really do too much right but uh, I think we're kind of getting ready for the volatility to start kicking off from tomorrow going into Thursday Friday we have the banks announcing their earnings reports so lots of excitements uh, uh, getting ready talking about earnings report we do have a stock reporting earnings today after hours and we also have a stock tomorrow pre-market to keep an eye out for both of them are on the watch list we'll dive into the watch list very soon but that's pretty much what's on store for all of the stream we're going to be going through some of the stocks that Brand moved around a today Chad Whoa. Haircut Whoa. Got a Chad haircut long. how did you get the link i didn't even post the link what the hell what was the comment even say Pride got a chad haircut it's the same damn haircut i just i can't even see my face because my 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 thing's on the side over here let me bring it's the same damn haircut i just combed it yesterday it just wasn't combed it was just straight down but today i just combed it that's the, that's the only difference it's not the chad haircut it's not look i am a chad maybe that's the difference right the difference is you're recognizing me for who i am and, and uh welcome welcome to the glory you know i clean up nice i try not to put in effort because i'm tired of you know women blowing up my phone all the time i'm tired i'm tired boss i'm tired of being tired so I figured the solution is try myself to not look so damn pretty. Then maybe I won't be, you know, getting harassed by women on the public transits and so on. It's working. But now see what happened? All of a sudden I clean up and I get nice comments from women again. So tomorrow we have to go back to shitty haircut. Tomorrow we're going back to shitty haircut, looking like a homeless dude. That's what we got to do. No chat isn't a good thing in my books. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. <laughs> You look like a Chad today. That's it. I look like a Prad, okay? They took Chad from Prad. They took the C out of Prad and they put a, sorry, P out of Prad and they put the C in there to exemplify what a real man is, okay? They took Prad and they made it Chad. That's, what, that's how Chad came into existence. Just so you know, look up on Urban Dictionary. That's, that's the exact words it says. 90% mama's boy's hair. Fuck you. <laughs> By Solar Pradeep. My name is not Pradeep, but I, I appreciate you trying to guess what my name is. A lot of people do think that my name's Pradeep, but they fail. They always fail, which I love seeing. I'll, I'll give you 10 more guesses and I bet you you won't get my first name unless somebody tells you in the chat what my first name is. Pradouch. With the way I'm feeling right now, Prad Ouch just might be the name, ladies and gentlemen. That might just be the name with my how my knee has been hurting. I took an arrow to the knee for those, those of my Skyrim uh, uh, players over there. All right, enough lollygagging around, uh, playing around. Why don't we say hello really quick to everybody in chat? I see TH, Dider, Dider and TH talking about how I need to stream for 30 minutes of just absolute music to these guys because they want to sit there and wait for, for the stream. Yo, if I do that, you're not li listening to music. You're listening to my YouTube videos. You're listening to Kill Tony. You're listening to all the other stuff that I'm listening to when I'm getting my watch list ready and I'm getting the stream ready. But welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. And Dider, you got me copyright strike. Thank you for that, Dider. I see what your plan was this whole time. Wait till I start making some money on YouTube and then get me copyright strike so you could take all my money. I see Dider's plans over here. CDP's in the house. Uh, Ani, obviously, with the super chat. Thank you for the dollar super chat, Ani. Dave hates 808. What's up, brother? Streamlabs in the house. Victoria's in the house. And obviously, Doom Lord. Momo's in the house, too. What's up, Momo? How are you doing? I was going to buy Ford at 1335, but then I took an arrow to the knee, says Momo. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't even want to look at Ford, but because you said that you took an arrow to the knee on Ford, I might have to just to see where the stock is, but I don't want to talk about this stock. So why don't we go to the full screen right now, turn off the transitions, and I need to move my webcam. Where is my webcam? Webcam, 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 webcam. 
group webcam move this bad boy right back down over here because usually we move it into that corner when we are playing chess all right so ford let's start off with ford as a quick look you wanted to buy ford at 1350 you said but you took an arrow to the knee i don't know why you would do that because it looks completely fine to me as long as ford keeps on holding above 13 bucks i think you're perfectly fine to to keep looking for that long honestly i mean breaking out of this consolidation breaking out of this consolidation and now turning this whole range that we have mapped out as a support successfully using that area as a support i mean even after that big red day on last thursday we're able to climb back up over here so it looks like 14 might just come into play as long as 13 keeps on holding on forward they might just keep giving you opportunities so take advantage of that right take advantage of that shield two girls in here one must be catfish high probable setup i mean momo and ani and both of them or oh, victoria that's three women in here wait a minute that's an anomaly because if we go through my youtube statistics which i'm actually i don't even think i'm allowed to show you the screen or youtube will completely stop me from streaming but if we go to my youtube statistics the statistics actually say how do i even see this analytics yes analytics audience uh Female, 0% in the last 28 days. But right now, we have three women in the chat. That's a that's a big statistical change right there. <laughs> big statistical change. I was just playing with my stats and I was looking at what happened in the last 28 days, sorry. 28 years. In the last 28 days, there's been 0% there's been women apparently according to YouTube statistics in my chat. YouTube wasn't ready for us. Hey, we're getting more women to watch trading now. Let's go. YouTube don't know my gender. That's fair. Maybe you're hiding your gender. I fair. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's very true. That's very true. That's very true. All right. Enough truing. Why don't we get the party started, ladies and gentlemen? And for that, we're gonna have to bring in the watch list for tomorrow. The watch list for tomorrow looking a little meh because these are pretty much the main stocks at the top then we got the repetition stocks such as coinbase Ma Ma uh, mara riot which are the cryptocurrency baskets your your semiconductor basket your magnificent seven basket and the large cap etf out of which really i only care about some of the large cap stocks such as nvidia maybe apple you got your cryptocurrency stocks if bitcoin is, is doing something fun again we got the cryptocurrency baskets and then we got the earnings and the new space moves that are moving around and some volatility moves that are coming around at the moment such as djt dxyz and reddit so that's the watch list for today so we're mainly going to spend some time with these a uh, uh, couple stocks at the top and then we're gonna dive deeper into dxyz because i found something today which was pretty interesting it was pretty interesting all right starting off with the stock that announced earnings today after hours wdfc usually not a stock that you want to be trading at all the volume on the 30-day average is only 121,000 shares not a million 121,000 for a 200 dollars stock so you got to understand that the spread's going to be insane the spread's going to be wild it's going to probably even have a dollar spread right off the open it's not going to give you clean trades the breakouts are going to most likely suck but on earnings days i do have a memory of trading the stock and it gives you a decent amount of volume on earnings days itself so you get about a million over here on that earnings day on this earnings day nothing really but on this earnings day you got about a, uh, almost half a million and so on so you get some volume coming in on on that catalyst let's see if tonight's catalyst actually allows us to look for a trade currently off the earnings report looks like the stock flushed right back into last week's low found support right into the last week's low area you can see how this 242 we got a double bo a bottom on the five minute chart here in the after hours right into that 242 area and then bouncing right back into what looks to be around yesterday's low or sorry i should say today's low area on on wdfc so now we're waiting to see how can the stock move like that after what looks to be a green earnings report so let's open up the earnings report over here looks like a mixed er actually so 2.58 percent beat on eps and a one percent miss on revenue overall i'm currently loading up benzinga 
There we go. Benzinga's loading up. We're gonna use Benzinga. Use the code down below, or sorry, a link down below in the description if you want to use this amazing tool that helps me with all things news. So we're gonna go check out right here. Why does that show like that? Get that shit out of my face. Uh, WDFC is the company we're looking for. Let's dive deeper into their earnings report. Uh, reiterating net sales be growth between 6 to 12% with net sales expecting to be, this is the full next guidance. I guess that's what we really want to see. Okay. Uh, between 6 to 12% with net sales expected to between 570 mil and 600 mil, narrowing the gross margin range to now be between 5.51.5 to 53% compared to prior guidance of 51 to 53. So but basically the same. Advertising and promotion investments are still expected to be between 5 to 6% on net sales. Lowering the provision of uh, for income tax to now be in the range of 23 to 24% compared to 24 to 25, pretty much the same. Increasing net income to now be in the range of 67.7 million to 71.8 compared to prior to 65, it's pretty much the same. Diluted earnings per share to now be in the range of 5 to 5.3 compared to 4.7 to 5. Point. Okay, that's a big, big jump over there on the on the bottom line and on the top line. Maybe not a big jump on the top line, but a pretty decent jump on the bottom line. So that's pretty good. Diluted earnings per share guidance is based on the estimates of 13.6 million weighted average shares outstanding, which is unchanged from prior uh, guidance. Overall, off the off the fiscal year 2024 guidance does not look too bad. I mean, most of them were upgrades. There weren't really any downgrades over there, even if the upgrades were were barely any real upgrades. We know that the report of uh, of uh, last quarter that came into play, the last quarter of uh, 2023 that came into play just now, actually was this Q2 or Q? Oh no, it's uh, it's uh, a 2024 Q1. Okay, Q1 2024 earnings report for WDFC. Looks like a little bit of a mixed report, but guidance is looking pretty good for 2024. So maybe a little bit of a reversal right back into today's low. Maybe we recover today's low, reclaim today's low, however you want to put it. And we're able to ride back to the upside. So far, just off the earnings report, I think this move to the downside is a little overextended. I'm going to look for this area to continue showing support for me even though the stock did go down right into was it 242 not even all the way back into last week's low so if we do go into last week's low which is around wait we did go under a little bit under last week's low yeah a little bit under last week's low so if we do continue to play around this area of 240 to 244 i will be continue to look for longs if we pull back but in my opinion we won't even have that opportunity tomorrow you're looking for the stock to play between today's ranges for the most part to see if we get some buying opportunities above today's low for us to ride back to the stock into today's high and maybe even above today's high based on that earnings report which looks pretty promising to me but uh in line in line overall so now we just it just matters to uh, as to you know maybe this is the fair value for the company maybe this is the fair price the company could easily just do nothing or the stock could just easily do nothing and just trade sideways very muted move it has done that sometimes you've seen it how on the previous earnings report if the value is pretty much fair in terms of how the report comes out the stock doesn't have to do anything but if the report comes in as a little bit of a surprise then you see the stock actually going higher bringing Bringing in bigger R vol, bringing R vol is relative volume, bringing in a higher ATR, ATR is average true range. So you can look for those type of things coming into play when the report is a surprise, but the report is not a surprise on the, on the past, nor is it a surprise on the future because they're not guiding it by much. So this could very much easily just be a dead fish tomorrow and just trade within these areas. For the most part, not very interesting. It'll get more fun if the stock can start playing with these prices. So I will be very careful to look for the longs, not really looking for the breakout longs at all based on how the report was. And if we do get some opportunities right around last week's high or, or today's low area, I can look to see if there's some good long opportunity setting up for us on WDFC. That is sadly the only company that reported in the after hours. At least the one that we care about. Uh, the other company that we do care about that's reporting tomorrow pre-market. Let me just fold my leg a little bit until the point that it hurts. Okay, there you go. That's a good spot. Uh, uh, the next few stocks that we care about that are reporting tomorrow pre-market are Delta and APLD.
APLD and Delta. Delta Airlines um, making a little bit of a good move to the back to the upside with the rest of the travel sector. I guess you could look at RCL, how RCL has kind of reclaimed some of its glory. CCL also, American Airlines, all of them have kind of, you, you know, American Airlines not as much as <laughs> some of the other companies over here. But Delta Airlines looking a little bit better at the moment, you know, reclaiming the bottoms, going uh, reclaiming the tops from not too long ago. Last year, 2021, highs coming back into play. Now the stock reports are earnings tomorrow pre-market, so nothing really for us to prep for other than the fact that, you know, we throw some lines on the chart and we get ready for it. I have currently last week's low, last week's high mapped out, and I think these are the areas that will be coming into play off the earnings report. Either we see a break of this last week's low or we see a break of the last week's high on some sort of an earnings report, at which point we can look to see how the stock behaves on a pullback. Does it pull back all the way back into last week's high and find support above it? Or uh, does it pull back into a higher low above last week's high uh, and, and find buyers at, at a spot above it, giving us you know, not really the long we want to look for, but it's showing you that buyers are stepping up and they're willing to pay for the higher prices. There, the demand is there for the higher prices. So, if those type of situations show up and we see some sort of a good uh, uh, chart pattern setting up for us, or or uh, uh, the level two screaming at us with size on the book or something, or the time of sale screaming at us, then there's some possible trades over here to catch that uh, um, second leg on Delta Airlines, either to the upside or to the downside. The only way this talk gets boring for me as if we're stuck in these ranges. If we're stuck between these two ranges, I just don't want to do anything with Delta Airlines. The same thing applies for APLD. APLD currently in the lower end of these ranges. APLD is also a stock with a much less float. You got to remember that, but it is a blockchain company. So I'm guessing it has something to do with cryptocurrencies or whatever. The float is only 86 million. So let's say about a hundred million float coming into play easily can get bought up by by a, a big big player in the in the game over there and they could game you so you want to be careful with apld obviously a nice little pullback and we're going to expect that earnings report is not really going to be too hot either so another stock over here for for us to keep a watch on the earnings uh, earnings side but uh probably on the lower lower priority for me delta probably at the highest priority wdfc if it does bring in some volume and is able to reclaim some of the levels that we wanted to is a higher priority uh, and then apld is just that background earnings play in case we don't really have a better earnings play zamzam hi handsome fourth could have break out tomorrow with cpi fourth could have broke break out tomorrow with cpi fourth oh fourth because you're the fourth lady i get it because you are that person from discord i get you coming yes come in my chat come in my chat uh could the market break out tomorrow with cpi now i would have to rub my little crystal balls over here let me do that real quick rub my crystal balls and see what it says sadly my crystal balls don't give me answers to the stock market if you do know any crystal balls that give you answers to the stock market then oop the screen has been on there for this whole time then uh, uh you know we have to uh, you know let me know who that person is so i can rub that person's balls and uh, get rich as hell sadly i don't know anyone yet but what we can do is prepare for all types of situations us as day traders we want to maybe not just day traders all type of traders right we want to situate ourselves with ideas of of a computer how does a how does a programming language work how does a a uh, algo work if you code an algo how does the algo get coded the algo is at the end of the day a bunch of if this happens do this statement otherwise do this right it's it's just a bunch of if this then that statements if this else statements uh, and the mark the, the code is just constantly looking so how would you code that if if the stock does x do this if the stock does y do this if the stock does z do this and understanding that part of the the algo is where you want to be right you want to understand if cpi comes out with a big surprise to the upside i want to do this i want to see the market do this i want to punch that key i want to use this gateway so if you can create a bunch of if this then then statements for yourself you're just on the path to being a better trader 
So for CPI tomorrow, it's it's like all other news events, all other economic uh, uh, calendar events that always come out. If it comes out a big surprise to the upside, you might see the market really rallying. If it comes a big surprise to the downside, you might see the market really crashing. You could also see the market do nothing because Papa Powell has already said that we're only looking at two rate cuts this year. And the markets kind of might have priced that in already. I know it's kind of crazy to say the markets could have priced that in because they didn't really drop too much off of that catalyst. But it's a chance that the markets could have priced that in. So you want to be careful to the downside unless a really big level to the downside gets cleared out and you're seeing selling under that level take place. At which point the market's not doing that at all. You've seen the market go down multiple times and find buying into the end of day and go right back up. Right. So you might want to be a little bit careful to the short side. Uh, if it comes out flat and it's a nothing burger, the market just chops, burns the stops to the downside, burns the stops to the upside, fuck the longs, fuck the uh, shorts. Uh, what does it go? It goes, uh, fuck, the, fuck the calls, fuck, fuck the puts, fuck the calls, j has got you by the balls, right? So you got to make sure that j doesn't get you by the balls. You got to be a little careful for that guy uh, so he doesn't just cup you and then rip your ball sack off. You got to be, uh, you know, be ready for all type of situations and then smash the market when the right moment comes into play. Sniper, you're a sniper. Your job is to sit there, be patient, be patient, wait for the deer to come into your crosshair. And when it does, you pull the trigger, right? You pull that trigger, wait for that deer to die. Then you kill it. Then you skin it. You put it on the, on a, what do you call those things? What do you call those things where you hang bear heads and, and deer antlers and, and shit on. Whatever those things are. You put that and then you hang it in your in your room. The wall. Shut up, Dider. It's not called the fucking wall. Dider thinks he's a smart ass over here, right? It's not a... <laughs> not the wall, Dider. Um... Lots of violence talk towards balls, Prad. You okay? Nah, my balls got ripped off today by the market because NVIDIA fucking hurt me, dude. Urgh. Oop, wrong button. Sorry. NVIDIA hurt me today. NVIDIA hurt me pretty, pretty bad. My, I got castrated by NVIDIA today. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we will talk about it. Um, so I tried to go long. I don't know why. I tried to go long 840. Uh, the stock slipped $3 against me and I got filled eight thirty seven fifty. That hurt. I went short somewhere here. I forget if it was here or here. I think it was, I think it was here. I think I went short here somewhere. That stopped me out and I lost money on that. So yeah, I'm salty. Yeah, I'm salty. But no, uh, talking about balls is because, you know, it just it just came out that way. It came out that way because people were talking about the future. I was talking about crystal balls. Then the j Powell situation came up and j Powell has a little, little, well, not j Powell has it, but Reddit has this little ongoing meme that's like, fuck your puts, fuck your calls. j Powell got you by the balls. And then I just took the whole thing and ran with it. Take the whole thing and ran with it, boy. It's all lies. I don't lie. I haven't lied a single day in my life. What if you're a girl? Do you need to get fake balls. Well, I mean, how many female traders do you actually know? They're not that many. Now we do know we have a couple in the chat here, except Ani, except Ani. There's a couple other female traders in here, but what is the reason why not as many females trade? I want to know why I want to understand why there's more men in this field than women. We are three here. Like, yeah, Zam Zam, uh, uh, Momo, and Victoria, all three trade. But but I want to know why the, the, the numbers are so, like, skewed to the male side for some reason. Monster YouTube Vibe Guru BS. They do... Oh, you know, Humble Trader. Uh, there's that other, other really cute white girl who, who who streams and trades too what's her name i forget her name lori or something 
Lori trades. Oh, I wanted to watch this video too. We're gonna watch this video, but I'm scared to watch anything from Dider at this point because he just keeps getting me copyright striked. God damn it, Dider. I think her name's Lori. Is it Tori? Yeah, she's cute. I'm a 30k in a week trading platinum. What the hell is platinum? Oh, the the like the like the commodity. And she knows how to make edits and, and you know proper YouTube videos. Man, I wish I knew how to make proper YouTube videos. And look how amazing her thumbnails are compared to my thumbnails. And she makes a ton of YouTube shorts and so on. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I wish I wish I knew how to do all that. Anyways, I was actually staring at her more than more than I was looking at her content. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I find her cute. She's cute. Now yours better. She's a female. We all know she's a female well-known trader. Yeah, and so is Humble Trader. So is Humble Trader. Uh, OnlyFans. I don't think she does OnlyFans, does she? If she does, I might have to. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, I was actually gonna watch this video over here. Dider recorded a video of the solar eclipse. Or should I say solar eclipse? It's not solar, solar eclipse. You showed the sun for like three seconds of the clip. The rest of the clip was just Montreal. This guy only put photographer in there. You're not just a photographer, you are uh, a, a beat maker, a photographer. What else are you? I forget what else are you. At the moment, I need to go check your 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 title on, on Discord. Turn off streamer mode real quick. Yeah, you're a beat maker, graphic designer, photographer, motion designer, and you only put photographer in here? Come on, Dieter, you need to put all those other things in there too. Make your make your ad look amazing, dude. That was a pretty good video though. Where is this? Where is all this? Is this Montreal? This can't be Montreal. 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 Is this Montreal? Longuilul. Is it? Where is this? City in Quebec. Okay, okay. What the hell is that? That's a fake ass wannabe YouTube, not YouTube, uh, um, Las Vegas Spear. That's Dider's house. I see Dider's house right there. We doxed him. That's Dider's boat right there. I see Dider's boat. Eh, hey, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice Dider, nice video, brother. I like it. Woman trades usually a good and very detailed... Woman trades usually a good and very detailed. Applies to life. I didn't, not sure I quite got that. Not sure I quite got that. Nice boat Dider. Yeah, Dider is a rich, rich man. You should see his house. He's got like paintings. He's got like a, like a original Jackson Pollard and Pollock in his house. Now I'm joking. I don't even know what that is. I just recently watched Accountant for like the third time. And in there he has an original Jackson Pollock and he gives it to that girl. Spoiler, he gives the painting to the girl at the end of the day. That's the only reason I even have it in the back of my memory. I don't even know art like that. But I do like art a lot. I've been following a couple artists recently. Anyways, 
I'm completely sidetracked. We're talking about the market. Let's continue talking about the market over here. Where, 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 where did we stop off? I think we stopped off talking about the earnings positions and then we started getting into the market. That's right, talking about how the market could possibly move today off the C tomorrow off the CPI number. I mean, this is basically the story of the market every single day. We get absolutely nothing or it flushes off the open and then it does absolutely nothing so this is nothing 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 or it flushes into pre-market then it rips to the upside so this market is i guess i'm salty because i want to see continuation in the direction of the market's heading to especially if we take out a decent level but no reversal right back to the upside insane amount of buyers constantly buying up the market right around these areas too you can see how every time we've done this we're right back up. Anytime we've done this, we're right back up. So I'm not going to fight the market unless we're really under 435 area, which is right around last week's low. And you can see right at that 435, 430 area, which is also, I think this is the 100 period EMA. Sorry, that's a 50 period EMA on the daily chart. Right around the 50 period EMA, we're, we're seeing some buying coming in. So unless we cleanly break that, I am not really looking for shorts on the market. Same thing for the upside. Unless we cleanly break this all-time high on the QQQ and see buying coming in above this, then I'll be interested for the long side. For the CPI, that's the idea. You want to see it going through, coming back, and then bouncing off of this for us to get long somewhere over here with the stop right down over here. Or same thing, breaking under, pulling back, and then going short so we can go short somewhere over here and with a stop right over here giving us a nice little actionable stop to play with instead of us having to pray to god uh, uh that we we smash the, sh the the breakout and pray to god that the stock or the or the etf or the instrument on at hand doesn't just reverse on us right so you got to be very careful with those type of situations exactly what i did on nvidia today god damn it all right uh i caught the cell five digits let's go that's what i'm talking about instead of gummy jars on your walls i don't have gummy jars what the fuck are you talking about where do you see gummy jars these these bears that's not a gummy jar oh you're talking about this that's not a gummy jar that's a that's a g fuel can dude i'm trying to get sponsored by g fuel because i don't really drink caffeine but this is a great source of caffeine and also a great source of energy for gamers. G Fuel, sponsor me. Shout out to G Fuel. And these over here, these are amazing collectibles called, uh, I forget what they're called. Not Care Bears. God damn it. What are they called again? Uh, I'm trying to tickle this one so I can remember. Actually, let me tickle this one because this one's the most expensive one uh bear bricks they're called bear bricks they're amazing stop hating on my collectibles over here and if i move i got my beautiful mila kunis poster i got my reminiscing uh reminiscence of a stock operator book i got hulk right there and then i got my beautiful mclaren lego oh baby look at that beauty it sits there i can't i i, I every day i come in come home and i pet that car like it's my dog I, I i move the car around back and forward i love that lego car dude i love the lego car scented lady candles don't lie you want to know what my scented candles look like this is what my scented candles look like <laughs> Yeah, right, buddy. You think I'm out here putting scented candles? You think this is soft boy pride? Nah, son. We're hard. Always hard. Macro hard. Never mac micro soft, okay? I'm always macro hard. That's why I can't stand up right now because I'd get kicked off of YouTube if I stood up. You'd see my... All right. Back to the market. Enough jokes. Uh, so that's basically what I'm looking for, the QQQ and the S&P 500. S&P 500 kind of looking the uh, same thing. We see it go down. Look at that candle. You could call that candle, I think, a doji, right? Nice or, or a hammer or something. Either way, I'm not really too familiar with candle patterns. I don't, I don't really study them. But uh, overall, the idea is the same. You're looking for the last week high or the all-time high. You're looking for the last week's low uh, to, to either break off the CPI number and for us to... Go, okay, brother, Tuesday, brother, 
Okay, brother, Tuesday, brother. So we're waiting to see if this comes into play, but it's not Tuesday tomorrow, it's Wednesday, it's CPI day. For those of you know who I just gave a shout out to, that's my boy Sketch, the one and only Sketch. He's amazing, Sketch is amazing, dude, I love Sketch. Um, so let's continue down the train over here into our watch list for tomorrow. The next few stocks we have is actually Docu. Docu reporting, not reporting, but they have a two-day conference starting tomorrow, kind of like Google. They had a three-day conference starting today. Docu has a two-day conference starting tomorrow. Their CEO will be talking in that conference. Possible moves to the upside. Maybe they talk about their buyout deal a little bit, but uh, usually during these conferences, you don't see them talking about their buyout stuff. They're talking about their software they're talking about future growth uh, they're talking about what's in store so not really expecting any buyout talk but maybe some opportunities to look for some trades over here on docu for the next few days Google didn't really do too much if I remember correctly thanks to the market market basically stopping the Google's rally today and making it trade sideways but Maybe there's some opportunities over here as Google continues to have its own event for the next few days. The next stock over here is actually the next three stocks are in the weed sector. Tilray pulling back with the earnings report, horrible earnings report. They only have cash flow for two more months left or two more years left. I think that was the news. They only have cash flow for a couple more years left. Goodbye, Tilray. Bankruptcy, Tilray incoming. Uh, it's only time before we see ACB and CGC in the same basket and getting absolutely slaughter fested to the downside. So be careful for these positions. Uh, as I did mention yesterday, you know, Tilray could be the 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 one that starts stops the move for across the board and starts to kill them all. So you got to be careful over here as all of them might start getting pulled back a little bit. You can see how CGC's last week high and last week low are so ridiculously far apart. The stock has been going crazy. Same with ACB, going way too crazy. So it's time for a snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, I'm putting too many dots. Oh, there goes gravity. How did the lyrics go again? Snap back, go around. It goes rabbit. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't remember the lyrics anymore. You better lose yourself, lose your mind. I forget the lyrics. Then we go next to the stock. Stock. The next stock on the watch list is DXYZ, and we need to do some research. All right. So DXYZ, Destiny Tech 100, one of my most hyped up callouts ever. I mean, I've had some beautiful callouts in my life, such as GitLab. Uh, um, zoom short off that top. You, you, uh, you were talking about mRNA shorting off that top. We've had some amazing, insane callouts on the stonk markets, ladies and gentlemen. And DXYZ is just in that basket. But sadly, we're finding out some new stuff about DXYZ over here. Pradlock Holmes had to pull out his magnifying glass. Let me see if I even have a magnifying glass over here to pull out from somewhere. I have an idea. Padlock Holmes had to pull out his magnifying glass and do some research as to why DXYZ is exactly uh, uh, failing today. Or maybe maybe the, my research is absolutely bullshit, but I think I know why. So let's pull up DXYZ over here. Padlock Holmes went a little wild today. Let's see where the stock is registered meaning uh, their headquarters. Where is DXYZ's headquarters? This stock is, is offices, offices are located at, where is the goddamn address? There we go. 1401 Lavaca Street, unit number 144, Austin, Texas. I just doxed the shit out of them, didn't I? All right, let's pull up that address for a second. Uh, Gmail. No, 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 no. Don't dox yourself, idiot. Maps. We almost doxed ourselves. Jesus Christ. We were about to get more Weight Watchers emails. Jesus Christ. Bro. Oh my God. I just doxed my address and everything. <laughs> All right. Nobody send me any stupid items home. I will whoop your ass. Okay? And nor and don't call the cops on me either. Don't swap my house. That'd be pretty pretty stupid. Don't 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 swap me. Okay? Don't don't swap me. That's that's pretty annoying too if you do that. All right. So, if you find out, go to the exact address of this building located 
for DXYZ. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this post necked. I guess that's where the original office was. Or maybe they're over here. Maybe this is their office. No, that looks like the alarm company or something. That might not be the office. What does this say? You guys see Destiny Tech 100 on here? Google, enhance! God damn it. Anyways, I don't think this is the building anyways. So let's go here. So this right here is the building, right? You can see how it says 1401. That means this whole unit, this whole white unit, whatever that is, Texas Chili Parlor. That looks horrible. But okay, I'm not gonna judge it. Not judging it. Not judging it, not judging it. I mean, maybe somewhere here. Oh no, that's a WeWork building. Okay, that's pretty obvious. WeWork. So uh, the address says 1401. We got 1401. Now it's unit number. What was the unit number? 144. That's 1403. So it's not this. So it has to be this. Is this unit number? Anyone see unit number anywhere? It has to be this then. Because that's, that's 1403. We see that right there. This is 1401. And you can see how all across that building is pretty much nothing. This looks like uh, some sort of a, a, a Texas state building because right across from here is where, where, where was that building? Where was the building that I saw? The Texas law state building or something. I think it was right here somewhere. Texas law center. Double Tree Suites, Hilton, Texas Medical Association, Osteopathic. Okay, go here. Anyways, there's a law building around here somewhere. So that that little building over here that we saw is probably just a, a you know some sort of a government building. It even has a Texas state logo over it. It looks very old schooly with these columns and so on very government officially with those columns so i'm gonna say that's a government building and it has to be this one so unit one four one forty one was it or one one four one forty four this could be unit one forty four and and this could be the building now the point of doing all this research was to see if this company is even goddamn legit if you are going to put money into a company who who you know claims that they're invested in a SpaceX and they're claimed to be invested in OpenAI and something? Would this be their office? Now you gotta keep in mind they're not a real company, right? They're not a real company in the terms that they they don't make anything. They don't sell anything. Well, I guess they sell stock of their own, but they don't make anything. They don't actually have their own products. So technically, you don't need even this. You could do what they're doing sitting at home. An office would just be rent that they would be spending money on. And the only things in that office is probably just a secretary and, and, and the person himself making the decisions who manages the fund, who manages the ETF, maybe a couple interns over there. So... This type of building looks very justifiable for the type of company that we're talking about. Right now, the question is though, when was this picture taken? Now, this picture was taken in 2023, right? This this Google map, I guess 2022, 2023, this company has been existing a little bit longer than that. And if this address has been their home for since then, 
then this scares me, right? This scares me a little bit. Now, another point that Dider has brought up to me when I actually shared this picture to him earlier on in the day when I did my research, hey, February 2023, we're seeing this side of the this side of the wall on, from February 2023, and this looked exactly like that. That looks like there's someone actually doing a transaction in there. So this just might be their office in the back. Now, like I said, right, this... Uh, they don't need a real office. They don't need a real, real big seven story building that says Destiny Tech 100 or whatever, right? They don't need that. Dider also, when I was sharing these pictures with him, he said, uh, you know, Apple started off in a garage. Amazon started off in a garage. Google, we all know Google started in a garage with big ass server frames and so on. So good arguments, valid points. And those companies actually made products so you would expect those companies to have, you know, even bigger infrastructure. So it makes sense. Right now, based off of this starting ground of research, has me worried a little bit as to what exactly are we are we dipping our toes into. This stock has been going absolute bonkers recently. I mean, $115 in pre-market, pulling back down $50 in, in damn near one day over here. So... Pretty crazy moves all across the board. Volumes continuously going up. That's also a good thing. But eventually the stock's got to normalize and figure out, you know, to cool off its just the jets a little bit. So we'll see. Maybe that happen when it does pull back right into these IPO ranges for us to see how the buyers behave. If there's people who kind of feel left off on this train can, can now get caught up on it. Some of the shorts have been burnt. This brings in more shorts, right? This candle now could bring in more shorts so you're looking for any upside moves and them getting sold off for us to join the downside and so on the failure of of continuation to the upside on dxyz you look to get short on those type of moves so dxyz very very active of a stock at the moment a little volatile little spready little crazy what opportunities are here and when they show up, you want to take advantage of them. So make sure you can look for some trades here. Happy that it held the five-day EMA today at the very least. Uh, yeah, right around $55, I guess, is the five-day EMA. I'm not sure where exactly that one is, to be honest. But it's holding it. It's a strip mall. That's good because they probably will need lawyers. I could smell it from Jackson Will. Swimmer said he could smell it. Smell the bullshit coming from DXYZ from Jackson Will, Florida. Why do I have so many Floridians in my chat? We got Swimmer, um, Doom Lord. We got who else is in here? Laced up souls. All of you are as Florida the Floridians because we like curry. Is is Florida curry based? Like, is there a lot of Indians in Florida? Buddha's in Florida too. What the Victoria's in Florida too? Dude, I swear my whole chat's just Miami. That's crazy. Well, culture, that is true. But your culture is mostly... I, I shouldn't say it. I'll get, I'll get cancelled. I'll get cancelled. Florida's wild. Yeah, it for sure is. I mean, why would you pick to openly decide to go live in a place where your house can get ransacked by natural disasters every other day? Like, who makes that decision willingly? You know that that tomorrow your house could get blown away by wind. I huff and I puff and your house goes down. Why would you willingly stay there? I like to hunt gators. Well, gators like to hunt you too, my friend. That's a, that's a, that's a two-way street there. That's not a one-way street. Those gators like to hunt you too. Another reason why I'm like, why do you want to live in a swamp where gators are? Why would you trade at all? I'm not getting hunted by gators. We like it nice, bro. That's why I find. I mean, I get it. I get it. It's nice weather. It's beautiful weather. I mean, you could say the same thing about us Canadians. Why do you decide to live in negative 30 degree temperatures? What's wrong with you, you igloo monkeys? Right? So you could say the same thing about us. But, uh... Yeah, I like the cold. I love the cold. Gator wrestling. Do people actually do that? I've heard about that. People are not actually going out there wrestling gators in the mud. 
I hope not. You, you Florida freaks are crazy. Get out of Canada. Nope. I love my country. Oh, Canada. Beep, beep. Who's messaging me, dude? What do you want? Ooh, I see Ani's first name. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Ani super chat just came in on paper on PayPal. That's why I saw her first name. Uh, Igloo monkeys. Yay. No, no, I'm not going to dox you, Ani. Come on. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. All right. Let's kind of get back to the market here. And uh, we only have a few more stocks to finish off. But DXYZ, as we were on this train, doing that little bit of uh, investigative research on DXYZ, uh, you know, finding out their office looks a little bit shammy, a little bit scammy. So I'm, I'm worried to see if more people find out about that. Hopefully people don't find out about it. But, uh, you know, it might be circulating already on the, on the Twitter world. And you might want to be careful for more down side on this position uh for those of you who are uh in this position already maybe at 20 maybe at 30 if you didn't take profits already i would urge you to you know maybe actively take some profits you don't want it to see go all the way back to your average price and then all the way back to the ipo low of eight dollars you don't want that so be very careful please be very careful uh cryptocurrency basket is the next one on the board over here back to 70k bitcoin having at the uh, friday of next week or the thursday of next week so 19th of uh, april so make sure that we, we are staying ready for that one we're continuing to track the motion over here on bitcoin right now the motion uh, of the ocean is pretty much still very very calm but once those rapid tides coming into play we want to be able to surf those tides baby surf and wave instead of getting wiped out by those because we weren't ready for those tidal waves so be careful as bitcoin is getting a little bit spicy back into the all-time high back around 70k or so right now i don't see myself really trading them but they're getting a little active mara riot both of them right around beautiful levels over here and near last week's low slash uh decent levels of themselves let me actually mark that one here real quick uh put that one as orange that's around 17 dollars and 40 cents right right at the last week's low over here finding a pretty good base into last week's low coinbase pulling back slightly but still within that whole range that we created from last week and i'm pretty sure coinbase is not going to do too much what the hell was that noise uh, I'm pretty sure Coinbase is not going to do too much uh, until a Bitcoin having comes into play. At least that's my opinion. But if it does something, I'm ready for it. I'm ever ready like the Energizer Bunny. Is that how it goes? Is the Energizer Bunny ever ready? Who is the ever ready thing? Yeah, it is the Energizer Bunny. Nineteen ninety four TV commercial. This is when I was born, dude. Get his battery. When life was easier, when everything was better, when people weren't questioning what gender was where they were. Ah, oh, well, life was so much better. Ah, oh, the good old times. Ah, oh, the good old times. And now here we are screaming at a microphone to two viewers about how the stock should be moving. How life has changed, ladies and gentlemen. So depressed. So depressed. Anyways, let's get back to work. We're here for a job. Let's do this job. <laughs> Uh, the next stock, basically the same cryptocurrency basket, so we don't have to keep beating them down anymore. Let's go to AMD. AMD finding a nice little base right now into the $165 area. Now, if the market crumbles tomorrow, I think a short through $165 is possibly uh, is on is on watch. Uh, that's also right around the previous, not the latest earnings anchor BWAP, but the previous earnings anchor BWAP. Like I mentioned, I expect the stock to do something in this two anchor BWAPs and then giving you, god damn it, and then giving you uh a little bit of a 
uh, anchored VWAP pinch breakout setup. So either we break out to the downside or break out to the upside. Currently a nice little support into that 165 area on AMD. Let's see if that level continues to come into play. Intel moving back up slightly back to $40, but not yet back above 40 for Intel. Micron holding beautifully in the all-time high ranges currently stuck between uh, the last week's ranges. Looks like the earnings anchored VWAP is actually catching up to those ranges. I expect last week's low to continue being a support on Micron. TSM came out with a pretty good catalyst today in the pre-market or in the in the in their market time period. Something with the new US. I don't know, I'm not gonna even try and guess. Some new catalyst, good catalyst. The stock actually started going up, but instead, when the market started rolling back, it got rolled right back with it. So TSM got screwed up. Arm had a pretty big move to the downside after it came out with the pretty good news in the pre-market. Arm came out with the news pre-market, started popping, and then got absolutely smoked. I'm guessing most of that is because Nvidia, the leader of the semiconductor stocks, the, the, the conductor of the semiconductor stocks over here, sadly pulling back quite quite drastically. I mean, 830 was the bottom. Now we got a range of 860 to 830. Nvidia's ATR is basically $30. Yeah, $34.96, let's say $35. Now we basically have a range from last week's low, 860, to, to today's low, 830. We are going to watch how NVIDIA trades between these ranges. And if CPI comes out really good and helps the market to the upside, I expect NVIDIA to get back above last week's low and find buyers above 860. But if those numbers are not good, market's crashing, I expect NVIDIA to continue to show resistance at 860 and go back into that 830, giving us a full one ATR move in that solid box. So we're watching how NVIDIA trades. Currently not really too interested on Netflix, even though Netflix is giving you a, uh, some sort of a move right back into this ranges over here. Netflix did look very, very interesting on this day, but then you can see how that blockade came into play on 640, just not able to take out that 640 three days in a row. AM 640, for those of you know in Canada, AM 640, that channel. But 640 area being a little bit of a trouble for Netflix, stuffing it right back down. Get pushed back down. Mm. Stuffing it right back down to the south side. And that is Netflix. Tesla, Tesla making a beautiful run back up at the moment. But if you guys remember, said, uh, remember what I said about Tesla, I mean, all of these runs to the upside just means there's more levels that it needs to test before it gets me excited for the longs. But a nice little move on Tesla at the moment. Tesla up on the day, even though the market was pretty much red to start off the day with and then turn green. Tesla has been up for most part of the day, just keeps on rallying, 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 rallying. So it was a monster move. We'll see if Tesla can continue to do something like that tomorrow for us to maybe join and have some fun have some fun test it to the moon Annie Annie wants the stock to go to the moon so tomorrow I'm actually going to first thing I'm gonna do as soon as I get into work is I'm gonna put a whole million dollars my whole buying power short on Tesla to make sure that it does not go up guys that was a joke for those of you who think I'm actually gonna do that and, and you guys are gonna follow that as a trade please do not follow that as a trade that was just a joke I'm not actually going to put a whole million dollars to short on Tesla that would be stupid but I have to throw that out there because someone might take me seriously and they might do it and they might take losses that I will feel very bad for. So I just have to let you know. Tesla to $20 says Momo. Momo is a hater. Momo hates Elon, just so you guys know. Momo loves Ford and hates Elon, which makes no sense. Which makes no sense. <laughs> I was going to say, you're going to make your whole life about me flattered. Ani, calm down. Calm down, Ani. You're not that special. Might be a little special, but you're not that special, okay? Let's see what's in store for tomorrow's economic calendar. Economic calendar, like I already mentioned, CPI tomorrow coming in. That's very hot. We got a bunch of Fed members. Well, only one Fed member. We got another one coming out much later in the day at 12.45. FOMC minutes at 2 o'clock. That one's a pretty good uh, catalyst to watch out for. Cleveland CPI doesn't really matter too much for that one. We got the real CPI numbers coming out at 8.30. So the main important time periods that you want to be ready for tomorrow, 8.30. Uh, 1030 for the oil numbers and two o'clock for the FOMC minutes. So three good time periods where the market could give you some volatility and, and kickstart the move for the whole day. So watch those time periods very carefully. Uh, I did mention three, two new IPOs, sorry, not three. 
Oh my god, it's three now. <laughs> All right, it's three now. Two new IPOs coming up very soon. This one's actually next week, so we can wait for that. I bought her. I'm not a bada. You're a bada. I bought her. What do you do? Making every purchase rewarding. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't buy in this company. This company looks trash to me. Absolute garbage. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Originally, we're worried about UL Solutions and PACS Pax Pax report uh, IPOing on the 11th of. Uh, april and uh, uls ul solutions ipo on the 12th of april so we got a little bit more a couple more days until we start talking about it we'll talk about packs tomorrow and then on thursday we'll talk about uls and get prepared for that a little bit more so make sure you're keeping these one on the on the watch list for the next few days coming up um the next one i want to show you guys is the the rundown basically for what else could be on store tomorrow earnings that come out uh, in pre-market the ones that we already have on the watch list dal and apld rent the runway in the after hours dolby will be providing a demo in the theater industry and combined okay dolby having a little bit of a uh, 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 one day event i guess on cinemacon 2024 docusign as i mentioned will be having their two day event starting tomorrow kkr will be holding an investor day event featuring presentations by his business leaders so KKR having an 8, 8 a.m. event tomorrow morning. CPI already mentioned that Chicago CPI doesn't really matter, but you got other participants at the panel that might be interesting over there. The Federal Reserve will release the minutes from March 19th and 20 FOMC meetings. So that'll be something to keep an eye out for. You'll see uh, in that transcript a bunch of lines with the red lines across it. The red lines are basically uh, what they changed this transcript compared to the last transcript so you'll see uh, a little bit of a, a tonality change maybe a little bit more dovish than hawkish you might see uh, them talking about the two rate cuts and and the lack of interest rates going down as fast as they want to but at least it's steadying is, is how they want to put it so all those words will be uh, very important how they how they say it in those documents i'm pretty sure benzinga right at two o'clock you'll see benzinga just dropping all those papers right off the bat and and you'll be able to see it that's why i always give shout outs to those companies i use these softwares myself every single day to actually day trade benzinga trade ideas and trader sync so if you want to do those the links are right down below in the description with their codes to get you a little bit of discount sadly i don't have any pull to get you a higher discount because i am not a big enough of a streamer yet to negotiate for that if i have enough people using the links maybe i have a little bit of a pull to negotiate that i know doom was asking me for a bigger bigger discount maybe a 20 25 percent discount sadly uh, i i don't think i have that pull i haven't tried yet but i just don't think i have that pull just yet maybe one day once i get into that million dollar subscriber a uh, uh, million subscriber a uh, uh, number then we can talk about those numbers uh coming back to this numbers over here the however post market costco will report release its march sales report so costco post market most likely interesting because they could possibly move off that maybe walmart could be something to keep an eye out for as a sympathy trade for some of you who are interested in that so that's also all in store tomorrow wednesday um do we have a video to watch today? Let's go see if SMB Capital posts something new for us. If not, I'm pretty sure Jumpstart Trading has... Uh, we finished Jumpstart Trading, sadly, because the rest of the stuff in there are futures. No, nothing over here from these guys for us. That's pretty sad. I wanted something to watch. Let's see what the chat's talking about in that case. Chat, what are you guys talking about? Tesla is the fad of the 2000s, like the pet rock in the 90s. The hula hoop and Dunkin' Yo-Yos of the 1960s or the fidget toys of the 2024s. Was it 2024? 2022? 20, 2020? When was fidget toys a big thing? I don't have a single fidget toy anymore. Where did all my fidget toys go? God damn it. I lost all mine. Um, it's June. Congestion pricing will start in Manhattan. $15 just to drive in Midtown. Is that like gas? Are you talking about gas? I'm thinking. 
I know a lot of people want to buy some Tesla if it goes down a hundred bucks. I'm that's true. I know a lot of people too. Uh, a lot of my personal friends, a lot of people in my workplace, a lot of people are looking for Tesla near a hundred. So maybe it does go to a hundred because a lot of people are just sitting there at a 100 price. Uh, no Reddit when it's back to 45 again. I actually do have it on my watch list. I do have DJT and Reddit on my watch list. Yeah, 45, 44 has been holding amazingly on that stock. So you want to continue watching that. DJT also right back into that 39, uh, 32 to 29 area if I remember correctly. I don't think DJT actually ran back to that area today. Let's go back to my charts real quick. DJT actually, yeah, didn't even push down to that 29 to 32 area, but we're still waiting to see what happens down there and reddit i mean look 44 45 just does not want to break there actually might be a contractual obligation for reddit to to get held over here by one of their underwriters or all of their underwriters so uh, until that contract breaks the stock cannot legally go under 45 most likely or under 44 even if it does go under 45 or 44 i don't think it's allowed to close under 45 because you're seeing every day look over here on this day the low was 44 i'm pointing to my monitor thinking that you can see it i'm so stupid uh, right on the top left corner over here in the green color right over here in the yellow color sorry you'll see it in yellow when i actually point at it but right, right at the top over here you'll see how it says l44 close 50 now let's go to another day where it actually gets under 45 so l4468 close 47 um l45 close 46 l4490 close 45 so the stock possibly cannot close under 45 for a few amount of days now i'm not saying this is this is a guaranteed theory this is a hundred percent theory but this is usually how ipos work they are contractually obligated to provide liquidity in a in a in a in a way where it doesn't hurt the stock but sometimes they're also obligated to hold up the price of the stock for us for a certain amount of period and that price might just be the stock where, where the where ipo at or where it opened at or whatever so i'm thinking we need to continue watching this stock that being said that's not that 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 mindset that i have is not a blind long for it it's not a blind long you want to wait to see if buying actually comes in in this area you're watching maybe other other indicators other tools to justify that that reasoning behind it make sure you're not being selective with your hearing and your listening and your and your uh reading and so on right don't be selective with it make sure you're also looking at the other side of the trade if there is enough selling coming in and the selling is coming in at 46 but you're trying to go long 45 then maybe there is no long 45 the stock could easily just be stuck in a dollar even though the atr of the dollar of the stock is seven dollars and 56 cents right it could be easily stuck in that dollar and be boring so you want to be careful for me as long as we continue to stay above 44 and 45 dollars there is a long in reddit and i will be looking for it i will be hunting for it so that that is a good point thank you momo for bringing that one up i thought i mentioned it i might not have though might not have djt getting killed indeed but i think there could be some option to see there's a uh some some intraday longs or something setting up over there uh chat isn't talking about you that's for sure Man, get Ani out of here and her hating ass out of here. You hate her. Reddit 65 to 45 in under two months. You're saying it's going to be stuck from 65 to 45 dollars for two months? Oh, you're saying it went from 65 to 45 in under two months. It's an IPO. What do you expect? <laughs> it's an IPO. What do you expect? That's how IPOs work. I mean, there's a lot of IPOs that went crazy and then absolutely got slapped right back la later. That's just how IPOs work, right? All right. Uh, is it time for chess, ladies and gentlemen? It might just be time for chess. Might just be time for chess. So why don't we pull up chess.com? Oh, what is this? Try chess.com for free premium for a week. Eh, I don't care about that. Okay, we start off with puzzles, chat. You know how we do it. But first, I need my headphones on because I need Dieter's music in my ear. Ooh, boom, 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 ba -doom, ba -doom. The Pickpocket. This is actually a pretty good name for the song. I like it. This is some Ocean's 12 type of music. Ocean's 12, Ocean's 13. 
It's like I'm about to go on a heist. I like it. All right, guys. Time for... Time for a quick session of, of uh, chess over here. And then we're going to call it a night. For those of you who want to call it a night already, thank you for everybody who stuck around this whole time for the last hour where we got to shoot the shits about the marquee uh, and a bunch of other shit too. I was a little all over the place today, but I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found some trades for yourself tomorrow. Hopefully you're ready. I know a lot of hope and that's not what you want to be doing as a trader. You want to cut the word hope out of your vocabulary. So I want, let's go say, uh, uh, I wish you the best for tomorrow. Good luck in the marquee. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow at 8 o'clock and uh, thank you for staying for this whole time. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and all that YouTube algorithm mumbo jumbo. It does help me a lot if you do that. So please, uh, and if you don't want to do it, that's fine thank you for coming and watching me at the very least it means the world to me now for my demons who love watching me kill it on chess let's get started let's get started black to move white to move Black to move. All right, that's pretty stupid. Okay, we're on fire, chat. Oh, that's all we get? All right, 645 was the highest rating. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, let's see how we do. Look, my rating has been falling because I play off stream and all I do is lose. All I do is lose, 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 no matter what. But the end goal is to be better by the end of the year. So all of these losses right now are good. As long as we learn from them and we don't repeat them the next time. Which I think I'm doing pretty damn good at. Okay, we're black. Anika Chand. From British, mate. Teas and crumpets. Wait, where did my YouTube chat go? Teas and crumpets. No, why did I do that? I wanted to go here. No defense. No defense. Maybe he didn't notice. Let's just back it up to be safe.
There was a free online chess site where you could play against a live opponent. This is the one. Why no? What did I do? Why'd you say no? How's that oops? How's that oops? Ah, oh, you scared the shit out of me, Dieter. You asshole. I saw the bishop. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep forgetting where my original piece was and I fuck up this all the time. I do this all the time, Dider. Is there any way to like... If I let go of the guy and he just goes... Oh, maybe I let him go in like any of the random pieces and he just let goes, right? Fuck. I know it's, I know it's all, also colored, but like... It messes with me. And now I just lost the pawn because of that, but no, he just lost the horse. Fuck that up. Oh, this beats nice, Dider. Why didn't you just take my horse, you fucking moron? Oh yeah, because it's protected. I'm stupid. Pinned. That is fucking annoying. 
I lost my queen. Run that back, Turbo! Fucking lost my queen. You forked me, dude. Did I just kill him? I think I just killed him. The fuck are you doing? Back that ass up, boy. That's what I thought. You would thought.
GG No He took my horse, you bastard! How the fuck do I end this game? Okay, you gotta get the get the get, get this fucking thing out of here, bro. Get the thing out of here. This stays here, I can take that. Perfect. Check. You have to go here or here. And I can take this. I can just take, wipe out this whole area here. You just lost your fucking thing for no reason, dumbass. All right, thank you. Check. And now you've made my win even easier. So you have to go here, here or here. I bring this here and I win, thank you. You're a moron, you just gave me the win. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for giving me a win. I get to go to bed, I'm the best. Yes, sir. What? Come on, brother. Look at that. That was easy. Whew. Wipe my nose or wipe his nose. Is that how it goes? I'm, I'm not a gangster. I don't know how, oh, how those gangsters say those things. But I wiped his nose, boy. I wiped his goddamn nose in the dirt. Mm. Bullet holes. Body bags. Six feet under. Buried. Saw that wind coming from a mile away. You saw how I studied it? Bang, bang. Ski, ski. Win! Second win, sorry, second game and a win. We started off by taking three games to win. Then yesterday we won our first game. Today we won our second game. Chat, all I know is even though the score, the rating is not saying that we're improving, I can feel and I know that we're improving. 
So keep coming back every single day to see where we go over here with our uh, um, level of, of uh, where did my YouTube chat go? Did I close the YouTube chat? God damn it, I closed the YouTube chat. Let me open the YouTube chat. So keep coming back to see where we are on this journey for, for chess and so on. I know a lot of you guys recently got inspired and have been doing it. I love seeing that. I know Dider, maybe not Dider, but uh, I know Angry Buddha has been has been uh, uh playing chess again so I, I love seeing that uh but most importantly come back tomorrow eight o'clock for all things stock market ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have more fun talking about the stock market we're gonna divert divulge or, or dive deeper into how the cpi reacted how the market moved and everything else that we might have to keep on store for tomorrow or not tomorrow for thursday and so on so come back tomorrow eight o'clock same time same place you know what it is it's your boy trader pratt thank you for the last hour and a half with me and uh if you not have hit the like yet please hit that like that youtube algorithm loves all that fanciness and i could use that help a lot thank you everybody love you guys for the love and support except for ani she's a hater except for ani she's a hater i beat her on every single mini game that we played on discord yesterday so ani this l is for you hold the l ani and if my leg was completely fine i would be doing hold the l dance for you right now but for everybody else you get a heart i love everyone thank you for coming good night adios ciao hold the l loser Let's see what happens. It's 8 o'clock tomorrow, as you guys know, we do the stream Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Shout out to my affiliate sponsors, Benzinga, Trade, trade, trade Ideas, the number one scanner to go to, Trader, trader Sync, pro, pro, promo code down below, promo code PRAT15 to get 15% off. I will, I, will, I will catch you guys tomorrow, 8 o'clock, same time, same place. Until then. Trader Pratt out. Adios.